So welcome to my small video about the comparison of the Pluto and the Pluto Plus. My name is Benno and my call is Papa Alpha Free Foxtrot Bravo Ultra. So what we are talking what are we talking about? The Adelm Pluto is well designed by the uh, company Analog Devices. Uh, and it's meant for school education for a purpose. We hams tend to use this Adam Pluto as it's great for its cap uh, capabilities, uh, what it uh, can do to work on our ham frequencies. Now lately, we got this uh, Pluto Plus. Pluto Plus is made, designed on the same uh, driver chip, but it has two transmitters and two receiver plugs out of it. Okay, well, um, let's do a small unboxing. So, for comparison, well, let's see what is in the box. First, the add-on Pluto, made by Analog Devices, a very nice designed blue box with all the data and information on it as a learning module. Inside two antennas, a piece of a wire, a USB to a micro USB converter, a a USB cable and obviously one Pluto. I actually modified this Pluto already because this is what we need to do if we want to use it for ham radio. Analog devices, a Pluto, two USB ports and two nice SMA connectors. So uh, I already put a PTT in there. You need to update the TCXO in order to get it a little bit more stable. And that's basically uh, what uh, you need some to do some ground modifications. Besides that, a very nice uh, set. I actually already have three of them. And we look at what we get from China is a carton box inside it two cables two USB cables and another protection inside a Pluto Plus and basically nothing else so Pluto Plus, what is it? It's a software-defined radio, two RX, two TX, and a gigabyte Ethernet connector. On this end, the two five-volt in and data micro USB connectors and a gigabyte LAN connector and a a memory card slot. So, if we connect this one to the computer, what will it do? So, we are back at the computer. Um, if we connect the Pluto Plus to the USB port and 5 volt to the PowerPoint port of the Pluto Plus, it will uh, automatically uh, pops up some screens. So let's see what's going on. First of all, it will give you a network connector. By the way, it's using the same driver as the Pluto. So formerly Pluto users are using the same drivers for this Pluto Plus. So it's uh, quite easily how to install this driver. You will find it elsewhere on the web. Uh, there are a lot of videos installing the Pluto first time. Okay, uh, if we look at this network 
port, you will see that it's creating a uh, same address as the Pluto, which is 192.168.2.10 and as a device dot one. So this is very similar to what we are expecting. It also creates a drive on your PC and uh, it will give you the very familiar four files. So if I look in those four files, you see more familiar things um, and you will be able to change uh, network addresses uh, on this part. If you open the info box, you will see even more familiar things. Even the logo of analog devices is not spared, and it's uh, very straightforward, very similar to what we expect on the uh, on the uh, Pluto. How to work with it? Well, it's again very simple, very straightforward. We select, we open SDR console in this case. We select a radio definition which for the Pluto surprisingly it will find one device you will add this device and uh, you are able to work with it so if I choose this one and uh, let's say I will do a 2 meg uh, bandwidth You have a running system. So let's turn this one a little bit up. So if I press uh, my TX button here, I have a uh, signal on my my hand, handy here. And if I transmit, you will see a big file back. So this works straight out of the box. No uh, need of uh, modification. It works like a charm. So let's see what is in the box. I actually opened the uh, cabinet for you. And uh, you will see the inside photo, which is not a great photo. Uh, but uh, hey, doing the work. So, first of all, if you want to use the inside uh, internal clock reference of the external clock reference, here is where you add some clock frequency or you change the clock frequency of the internal uh, reference clock. Um, if you want to modify something in the boot uh, section you need the PFU button if you are going to change something to the software you need to change something to this uh, dip switches to this uh, jumper settings and if you want to use the PTT line you will find it over here very neat design, very clear, it's not so uh, difficult, and even the Aldeal Pluto learning number is on this board. So that's about this board. If I connect this system to the uh, to the satellite. And on the Pluto, on the Pluto SDR console uh, system, you will see uh, very similar to a Pluto uh, system. So, uh, if you choose a frequent fre frequency, and you will uh, transmit, high it's PA3 Fox Bravo, it's great. We will put some audio to it. Audio. Uh, 
Papa Alpha 3, Fox Bravo x ray. Papa Alpha 3, Fox Bravo x ray. So, without calibration, it's almost spot on. It's um, uh, very stable. I've used it for a few fuses so far, and it's uh, uh, really stable. Uh, where you start, you will end. So, basically, it's uh, good without any modifications so far. So, what is the final conclusion on this Pluto Plus? Basically, it's a real rip off the original Pluto from analog devices. A device is created for learning purposes and it's doing great jobs on schools and uh, training facilities. On the other hand, we have hams like this Pluto also for the possibilities it gives us in our hobby. Um, the disadvantages of the Pluto are uh, unstable due to a very bad TCXO, uh, no PTT out, no network, uh, things like that, which uh, comes to the Pluto Plus. Basically, it's a improved Pluto, it's a next generation Pluto, and it's great for hams who don't like to modify the stuff they buy. Uh, anyway, um, if you look on the internet, you will find a little information, and that's basically all the information at the moment available. So the Pluto is a software-defined radio platform that supports two times TX, two times RX, supports a gigabyte Ethernet and a micro SD card. It is a real design on the Adam Pluto, but it improves the short copies. Okay, that's basically covers it. So on this information, you will find a lot of extra information about what to do, when to do. For instance, if you're using the original uh, Pluto from Adam, uh, from analog devices, you will uh, need to modify the jumper setting. If you uh, want to use the SD card, you need to modify the jumper setting. If you want to use the JTAG buck, you need to modify a jumper settings. If you want to connect external clock reference, you need to change the jumper settings. Well, where are they about? There are no jumpers on the board. There are actually there are a few there, but you need to install your own jumpers. If you want to use the port, it uses only one GPIO, so probably we get some bouncing again. Um, this is the drawing, and this is where you attach it. Obviously, no jumpers. If you want to uh, change something to the software and need to reload it into DFU mode, there's a small button the external clock reference and a possibility to calibrate the frequency of the TCXO. There is a small adjustable resistor. So this is basically all the information and if you want to use the second transmit and receiving port you need to enable it through a set firmware uh, command. So basically it runs perfectly. I would say it's a great part to uh, next generation Pluto usage. Thank you for watching. This was Benno Papa Alpha 3 Foxtrot Bravo.